Welcome to this introduction of Mocha Pro. Imagineer is widely known to be the leader in 2D tracking with innovative planar tracking tools for motion and rotoscoping. We are not going to cover the methodology of planar tracking, but if you want to learn the basics of Mocha's tracking and roto tools, please visit our website and click on the Learn Mocha link to be taken to free training material by Steve Wright. For now, however, let's focus on Mocha Pro. MocaPro's lens tool helps you correct lens distortion that you find in a shot. In a shot like this one where you can see significant curves, we can come down to our calibration and locate lines. This will tell us where the straights are in the scene. We can then use the new line tool to help tell Mocha where the straights should be. Here I'm just clicking through and finding those straights. And once we've found enough, we can use the calibration tool to determine the lens distortion. You can then render this lens distortion to file or insert lens distorted shots into your scene. Mocha's insert module allows you to apply compositing and offset tracking to any clip you have inserted in your layer. In this example we have tracked a photo frame and inserted a picture from the insert clip drop down. You can then use the insert parameters to adjust opacity, gain or add motion blur and also apply mats from the current layer to cut out sections of your insert. You can also apply offset tracking to adjust your insert for position, rotation, scale, as well as your shear and perspective, and also 3D offset translations for the tilt, the depth, and the rotation relative to your current surface. We can then use this offset data and export it out using the export offset data button. This will allow us to export the tracking data to all the standard formats that we can use in the track tab. The remove module in Mocha Pro is useful for removing objects from footage to create clean plates for compositing in Stereo 3D or just to get rid of things you no longer want in the scene. The Remove tool works by seeing how much of the tracked background it can use across time to replace the foreground objects. Here we can see that the man being taken out of this shot has had not quite enough background behind him to completely remove him from the shot. In this case we can find the cleanest frame possible and paint a clean plate and then import that clean plate into a frame to use in the removal. This means that more difficult removes can be given a helping hand to get rid of the foreground objects while not requiring a clean plate for every frame. Aside from removes, you can also use the tracking data to actually assist long articulated rotos. In this case we've done a track of the head of this object and then use that track to help drive the rest of the manual shapes. We've also tracked the background objects and driven these shapes on a separate plane. These can then be exported out to various applications such as Nuke. Here is an example inside Nuke where we have taken the rendered clean plate from the remove module and added tracked rotor shapes exported to the Nuke rotor paint nodes straight from Mocha. Adjusting these shapes with some displacement in Nuke allows us to quickly build up a scene intended for Stereo 3D. Combining Mocha's planar tracking and roto along with the correction, insertion and remove modules provides a unique toolset to work alongside any compositing environment. You can find out more about our products as well as in-depth tutorials on all the modules from our website at imagineersystems.com.